you know, just as I was about to get started on other stuff today, this article had to come up and I was like, bitch, yes, I'm going to do a video on this bad boy. Now, article analysis, another one for you fine folks on this lovely yet chilly Sunday in Ireland at approximately one o'clock. Cheating. Now, this is from a page called when my recording system there we go mummypages.ie right and listen to this I apologise for the adverts as well by the way but if you're listening to this on any streaming service you're perfectly fine men have no idea Irish women are pros when it comes to cheating I think women in general can be quite um, professional when it comes to cheating because they can hide it very well and they're very stealthy about it but see the thing is is that when a woman cheats on a man it's kind of like for reasons in the relationship where she's not satisfied or you know one thing led to another and this that and the other but for a man usually majority of times it's he just wants more tail he just wants another piece of tail like he just wants to do the no pants dance with someone else it can be quite as simple as that and like that's like you know testosterone and everything else just taking over the man that just you know can't control himself but for the woman it's a lot more calculated from my experience even though it hasn't happened to me but it's, I've noticed that they kind of do because either the guy is way better in terms of higher value or that she's not being satisfied in the relationship either in the sack or emotionally or anything like that so they resort to but they're very stealthy at hiding it because it's seldom a woman will find out because a man is not going to tell another guy usually if a woman's cheating on him however if a woman knows a guy has a girlfriend and you know she's like the girl he's sleeping with like you know she wants something more from him she'll be oh well look I want more but I can't get it so I'm going to let your girlfriend know that you're sleeping with me I'll find her I'll find her we're like FBI agents when it comes to this I'll find her and I'll, I'll, let her, I'll let her know I'll let her know I'll give her a, you know a little uh, pigeon pigeon notification you know send the send the pigeons away what they did during World War 2 but carrying on to the start of this cheating or being unfaithful is an incredibly complex issue and when you compare male and female perspective on its own it gets even murkier. No, it does not. It's very clear cut when it comes to man. He just wants more tail. He just, he just feeling like a horn dog. Women, it, it kind of comes down to like, you know, maybe being um, wanting a better man or not being satisfied in the relationship. Or maybe the guy you, she is with provides security in that, but the other guy, you know, gets her emotions going she kind of wants the best of both worlds but she's not kind of getting that for one guy as we all know there's a school of thought which says women cheat with their emotions while men cheat with their well you know uh, women cheat with their uh, vagine as well don't get me wrong honestly <laughs> and if this is indeed the case it may go some way towards explaining why a recent survey Indicate that Irish men are more forgiving when it comes to their partner's decision to cheat men Why would you be this is this is scarcity mindset? This is a scarcity mindset. Oh, baby I know you cheat on me, but I want to give you one more chance I'll, gi I'll give you the benefit of the ducks. You won't do it again. You will not do it again But the thing is man the thing is here is that if you forgive her She's going to do it again because accountability has gone out the window Accountability does not exist. You may as well just take a massive dump over the word accountability and punch it right in the face because there's no accountability there at all. Oh, baby, I can't, okay, baby, I swear I won't do it again. I swear I love you so much. I'll give you, give me stuckums. And off she goes again, gallivanted on some guy's flesh rocket. Where is he? Where is the consequence to this? You see, men in Ireland, right? Men anywhere. If she cheats, good luck but it's the case where men are in a scarcity mindset because they think she is the best he can get and no it's not Gillette her name could be Jeanette who knows but they think okay great I, you know she's really good looking and she saved me and she's the best I can get if she does it once I forgive her because I love her so much no 
you gotta grab your steel balls in your hand and say I hasta la vista baby you can't you can't men are, men are very forgiving when it comes to it but because they have the scarcity minds and they, they won't find anyone else they will take her back they will take her back but if you're a man of abundance and options or you just don't tolerate women's crap off she goes that's her consequence there has to be consequences to their actions it goes for anyone you believe their actions and not their words what what good is it if she says to you oh i won't do it again you, you she did it once what's stopping her doing it again what's stopping her anyone doing it again do you catch where i'm coming from and like men that's that's pedalization 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 it's like that boy trying to say please subscribe 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 pedalizing the punani no thanks that's what it is you're putting her above you she you're showing her she is of higher value to you and she will not respect you for that therefore she's going to do it again she is going to do it again and in relationships even in dating you can't be too much of a nice you can actually you can be nice and do things from time to time but you can't be a nice guy like you know hand and foot kiss the ground she walks on you can't do that she's not going to respect you she's going to walk all over you and she'll see you as weak and find someone who is strong or she might stay with you for security and go with someone else with yours at the fields carrying on according to research conducted by illicit encounters a leading dating website for married people which boasts 78,486 Irish members women stray because they feel neglected and bored what did I just say earlier on? Well, being satisfied. While men are more likely to cheat you to dissatisfaction in the bedroom and the fact they are no longer fancy their wife. Yeah, complacency is the thing. If a woman becomes too comfortable in a relationship, or a man for that fact, you know, complacency is going to come in. Security is there. And as well as saying that if you were to get married to the person, you know, that's it. Game over. Because the bedroom action is going to decline a hell of a lot more. Why? No competition anxiety. You know, there's not that thing there where what's keeping her making you look good for her. Well, sorry, that's what making her look good for you. Apologies. There's none of that there. There isn't any of that. Like, she's got you under her thumb now. Fantastic. And you can't leave. You have the response, you have the burden of a ring but you have the burden of losing half of your stuff as well maybe more maybe more there's no competition anxiety there she's she her her security aspect of her subconscious subconsciousness is perfectly sorted hey ho presto thank you stamp it and slap it on the ass you know and then she because it's just one more tale right the survey which harnessed the experiences of 1,000 Irish people, quite a small pool considering the fact that the population is around 4.5 to 5 million people, indicated that, resist, blah, 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 indicated that as a result of this disparity, 67% of men are prepared to give the relationship another go after learning of their partner's infidelity because they in some way understand the reason no because you have a scarcity mindset that's what it is you're afraid you won't find something else and you're afraid of being alone the thing is men you should not fear being alone you need to embrace you need to master the skill of being by yourself and in enjoying your own company because when you get into relationships when you get into dating it's women are not a self-improvement to you you can't go out with the line of thinking to clubs and that i want to see how many women i can pull as possible that should not be your line of thinking why because you're demonstrating that you are of lower value you're putting that punani on a pedestal that's what it is that is what it is the scarcity is there you won't, won't find some of us men there are millions upon millions of other women and when this beer bug calms down and when things get to some sort of normality go traveling again and you'll experience that you will experience that there's so much there to offer than just the one person you're with now am i saying the person you're with at the moment if you are with someone am i saying that's hey 
think that's crap? No, it's not. Because if you find someone who is suited to your values and beliefs, things can work out pretty well and it can be quite easy. Now, don't get me wrong, women are going to crap test. They are. It's a subconscious thing to make sure you're the man they, you say you are. You have the confidence. Of course they're going to do it because you need to satisfy their own security. But if you're going to come across having this scarcity mindset, she's going to pick up on that. She is. And men, you can't understand their reasoning. Women are very emotional. They go with their feelings. They go with how, what, what makes them feel. What makes their feels tingle and tangle. And then they get an entanglement. Us ladies, however, are more or less forgiving when it comes to matters of fidelity. With only 52% of Irish women saying they would stay with their husband after discovering his adultery. Ooh. See, men are more or less... Because that even proves the point again. Men... I know, I'm not trying to man bash, but I'm just trying to explain what society is like what men are like in terms of ideology as opposed to ladies. Men are very idealistic in their um, sense of ro romanticism, while women are quite op opportunistic. They love how you make them feel, while men, on the other hand, can love everything about a person. Now, I'm not saying that women can't love. Women can love perfectly well. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that women are incapable of loving. Totally untrue. But the line of thinking with term in the terms of love is quite different. As said before, one girl said to me, Joe, I love you. It's like, what do you mean? What do you love about me? I love how you make me feel. And that literally is an fine. That's it. That's it. You know, that line of thinking is correct. The phrase um, downstairs half no fury like a woman scorned really does seem to be rooted in fact, said Christian Grant of Illicit Encounters. Why do women get angry when a man cheats on them? Your guess is good as mine, but I kind of think it's more or less the case that, you know, he's gone with someone else and he could have found a woman who was better than him, better than her, and she doesn't like that idea. Therefore, you know, she's going to go out and, you know, do bad things. That's, that's kind of my line of reason to it. The new illicit encounters research shows that women really do react, really do react much more badly to cheating than men and that a husband's adultery is more like end of divorce than a wife's. Yeah, we should, but you see, the thing is, if a man's cheating on whoever the case may be, it's for, far more likely she'll find out about it than if she's cheating on him because women are a lot more sneakier when it comes to it. And while we're more ruthless when it comes to ending a relationship due to a partner's infidelity, we're also a lot more stealthy when it comes to our own extramarital affairs. See, and the thing is, if you catch a woman tea, she starts crying. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. She get the hell out of here. What are you talking about, Willis? She only cries because you found out she was doing it. She wouldn't have cried otherwise. Oh, I'm so sorry you found out. You're not, you're not sorry. Get out of here. Get the frick out of here. Shut the front door. That's funny, old women over... <laughs> I just find it hilarious that, that is the case that oh, we're more or less forgiving. Oh, but we're more sneaky. We'll do so you don't find out. According to Christian, women are better at covering up their cheating than men and it's clear that there are millions of husbands who have no idea about their wife's illicit behaviour and there aren't. There, there are actually. Loads of men do not understand what is going on, on behind closed doors. That's why whenever it comes to dating and relationships, I'm guarded. I would always have some sort of guard up. I'm like, we'll say, oh, I just want you to be a bit more vulnerable with me. And I want you to talk to me about your emotions. He'll go, wash, Donald. <laughs> like, no, I'm not going to become vulnerable in that. Because I don't know what vulnerability really is at the end of the day. It's weakness. I'll show a small bit of vulnerability when it comes to things I can't do or anything like that. I'll humbly admit it. Hey, I can't do this. However, 
I will always have some sort of guard up when it comes to dating and relationships because I understand how women can be and what women are like. I'll always have my guard up and it's nothing against women at all. It's me protecting myself. I think we're allowed to do that. If you have a sense of notion of what it's like with women, I think you're allowed to protect yourself and have some sort of guard. Now, I'm not talking about like a 10 foot high structure like you might build in Fortnite. Hell no. More of a case like, hey, I'm protective of myself because if I get hurt, I'll be able to pick myself back up quick enough. That's my line of thinking. Women date more actively on listencounters.com than men, enjoying an average of three dates a month co compared to a men's two. Do these fightings surprise you? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Because if you have any ounce of idea what women can be like, then no one wouldn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me. What do you guys think? What do you folks think? Leave in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe and share. And thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. That was the second one today. Aren't you very lucky? Until next time, I shall talk to you then. Bye-bye.